Morning, everybody. It's Lucy time. <clears throat> it's rainy outside today, and uh, so she's not able to play outside much. She was running around a little bit earlier, but started raining, so I had to bring her in. She really doesn't like to get wet. She doesn't get a, doesn't like the baths and stuff. I kind of feel sorry for these little guys because, you know, after having her, um, you wonder how all these other little opossums make it in the world. You know, they eat garbage, whatever they can find. Lucy is uh, very well fed. And uh, I got a jacket on today because her little, uh, her little toenails are sharp, sharp as razors. See, she's pretty docile because I, I just woke her up. You see her little pouch down there? Her little hands, them fingernails are deadly. <clears throat> They'll, They'll scratch you up because their natural instinct when they when they grab onto something is to squeeze like that, and boy they do. See, she's trying to get in my jacket now. She wants to she wants to go back to sleep, I think. But this is this is our cuddle time in the mornings because at night she's she doesn't really. I mean, she, you can hold her and pet her and stuff, but she's just jumping all around, moving around. <clears throat> this is her most docile time. But she's uh she's a little furball. Look at that hair on her. I mean she's got a really thick undercoat too. It's like it's almost like cotton. And any of you, I know a lot of you guys subscribe to my channel that that have had opossums. And uh I talk I was talking to one guy the other day just texting I texted him, he said that because I talked about uh litter box training her, and I think he said he had a male or a couple of males that he uh, litter box trained and he, the way he did it was he, he put a little little pan of water in there with the litter box and I guess they started going. But I tried that with her, but this pan I got is probably about this big and it's really, I think, way too small for her. I think I'm gonna have to get a regular, a regular litter, uh, like a kitty litter box for her because it's, it's just too small. She can't really move around in there very well. So that's, that's probably my fault on that one. But I really didn't know, I've never, I've never potty trained a an opossum before, or even a cat, as far as that goes. But this little girl here, she, um, she, she just doesn't isn't taken to it much at all. She's, <laughs> she's just like she wants to get in there. She wants to get in my coat. But she gets down into my sleeve, and man, it's hard to get her out <coughs> because she likes to burrow burrow in there well she's a good little girl and everybody likes to everybody likes to see that little face look at that look at that little face on that girl she's just a she's just a cutie pie she's more interested in going back to sleep I think she's not much of a camera camera girl let's see I think in April, May, June, July, August, September, September, November, December, January, February. So she's going on 10 months old now. <coughs> We're right at 10 months old. I don't know. I don't think, I think she's maybe gotten a little bit bigger. But I think anybody else out there that has, that's had uh, female opossums, if, it, if they think that uh, it looks like she's pretty much full grown, I think she is. I, she grew like a weed. I mean, really, really seemed to grow really, really fast for a long time there, and now she seems to have slowed down. She hasn't gotten gotten any bigger. She has gotten a little heavier. She's, uh, you know, she does eat well. She eats a lot of uh, Caesar dog food and lots of uh, vegetables. Not only vegetables, but lots of uh, lots of fruit. And she likes fish, chicken. She's not much on roast beef. <clears throat> I've never given it anything to her raw. Everything, all the meat that I give her is, is, has been cooked. And I don't know, maybe that's, maybe that's where I'm making a mistake. I don't know if uh, anybody else out there has opossums. Do you guys feed them raw meat or you know, do you cook it? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't give my dog raw meat either. Everything he gets, um, I give him scraps, you know, 
hamburger or steak or roast beef or chicken. It's all cooked. But she's a, she's a little, she's a little goofball. Like I said, you know, you guys, she doesn't, they don't play. They won't play with you. They won't come up and, you know, try to bite your finger and, you know, wrestle around with you and stuff. They'll cuddle you, you know, they'll cuddle up to your neck and they want you to, I guess they like to be petted. I mean, she, she never complains about it. She's looking for a place to, <clears throat> looking for a place to hide. Because she's tired. But it's raining out, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put her in the garage when I go to work. And uh, let her roam around there for the day. So just she doesn't get wet. <clears throat> but she stays clean. Give her bath every week. And that's my story on my little Lucy for the day. It's your little <laughs> goofball. You guys have a good day. See you later.